Well, hi, everybody. Golden Knights are finished with their holiday break. It was only a three day break, but they get back at it with a couple of games against the Southern California teams tonight. It's a date with the Ducks in Anaheim. The Knights with their morning skate at the Honda Center today used to be the pond in Anaheim. That's Alec Martinez taking a shot at the camera right there. Came close. It was a quick Christmas break for the Knights and they are ready to jump back into it. You know, whatever you needed, whether it's give your body time to heal, get a little mental break. Um, again, it's always great, you know, seeing family and then having time uh, time away from the ring to, to recharge. And the time off, time on your body is, is nice, and to get to spend it with family is, is awesome. You know, you're home for three days straight. We went in yesterday and started preparing for Anaheim and LA because it's back-to-back. -back. So uh, we got back to work a little yesterday morning, but not a long day, just sort of reconvene and revisit some things from Florida that we wanted to... Um, address as a staff and then see if we can correct those going forward tonight. Look for Logan Thompson in that tonight. Now, I mentioned the Knights had back-to-back -back games. You heard it there. Uh, they play the Los Angeles Kings tomorrow night here in town. The Knights and Kings split their two games this season. Knights won in L.A. and the Kings won at T-Mobile the last game they played. Kings have been monsters on the road this season. They're 13 and one on the road. The Knights have been very good at home. 12 and three should be a fun one tomorrow with two of the top teams in the West going at it. The Raiders are still very much in the playoff hunt. It'll take some work, but with two games left in the regular season, they got to take care of business and win them both. They finish the season against Denver at Allegiant Stadium. But first things first, they take on the Colts on Sunday. On the road, the Raiders need to find that offense that they found against the Chargers. Remember when they scored 63 points a little over a week ago? One thing you can clearly see with this team, though, is both the offense and the defense are playing better than they did early in the season. And yes, the arrival of Antonio Pierce is making all the difference. I mean, he's he's just preached it. You know, he's, he's preached for guys to, to play fast, play, you know, with their hair on fire and, and you know, play instinctually and um, rather than playing scared, I don't really see anybody moving around timid out there like like how it was before. So, um, you know, that makes a huge difference in the in the way you're allowed to execute and you do things. And typically, if you're in control and you're playing as fast as you can, um, it's it's going to be um, to your advantage. And Hair on fire. Okay, like the Raiders, the Colts get it done with defense right now. They have perhaps the best trio of linebackers in the league. So here, Franklin leads the NFL in tackles. Yes, number one in the NFL in tackles. You got EJ Speed. He ain't bad either. They play indoors in Indy. So it, weather's not going to be a factor for this game on Sunday, but it could be a low scoring game. Colts, by the way, are seven and eight this season and are fighting for a playoff spot as well. So big game coming up Sunday morning. 10 a.m. right here on 8 News Now. Rebel football wrapped up its first season with head coach Barry Odom. A lot to be happy about with the Rebels here this season. Okay, they lost last night down in Phoenix to a really good Kansas team out of the Big 12, but there were signs of promise. The Rebels hung in there against the Jayhawks. They also went to a bowl game for the first time in almost 20 years. They had a nine-win season. That's better than what anybody expected. Barry Odom wants to build on what the Rebels have done this season. Looks like most of his top players are going to be returning next year. So there's genuine fan interest right now in the program for the first time in a long time. Got to say this too. Odom's a great guy to work with. He's a football guy. His players can feel it. Fans can feel it. Even us crusty old media folks can feel it. Okay. And that's that's refreshing. Yes, some unfinished work this year. But the Rebels have motivation during the offseason to build this program. Rebels open, by the way, on the road against the Houston Cougars August 31st. Is it too early? Brian and Kirsten get ready for that? Never Not too all. early. Yeah. Fun is, season. Yeah. There is something about Coach Odom, isn't there? Fun season, there yeah. Is. Really good coach. Thanks, uh, Ron.